yeah, so I see this as, I call it an antenna now, and it's a, a new body part. When I was studying music uh, in England, I decided to create um, a new organ for the sense of color, because uh, I didn't want to use aware technology. I wanted to, to have an organ that would allow me to sense color. So when I looked at nature, I saw that there's many organs that humans don't have. Uh, there's wings, there's uh, horns, there's um, antennas. So mm -hmm. I thought an antenna would be the best organ to sense color because it's independent from sight, uh, hearing. So it's an independent and also it's 360 degrees. So I can be looking for it, but I can be sensing the colors from the sky. So the aim was to create an organ, an antenna, and then it took some while to design it. In 2010, Moon Rivas and I created the Cyber Foundation, which is an international platform that helps people develop their own senses and organs. So the aim is to allow people to decide what senses and organs they want to have. Uh, and then we create teams in order to build these senses. We also defend cyborg rights, the right to design yourself, the right to decide what senses and organs you want to have. And now the latest project is that we've started an association in Barcelona called the Trans Species Society, where people can become a member from anywhere in the world. And then these senses are created in community. So people can create these new organs and senses as a, as a group process. So it's more of a community now. Yes, this is uh, designing new organs and new senses is a uh, design a career that doesn't exist. You can't go to university and learn organ designs or uh, species design because this is basically designing uh, yourself or yourself design. There's no not such career. So in order to create these projects, you need to add artists, designers, um, computer scientists, doctors maybe, because uh, then you have a perfect team in order to create a new organ and a new sense. So we need to create these teams. So in India, I'm sure there's many people that are specialists in their own field, but they've never worked together. So that would be exciting to create this kind of team here in India. I'm sure there's uh, plenty of people willing to, to explore um, new senses and new organ designs. Well, I think the future of our species, uh, I think, is uh, relevant that we start thinking of it as that we need sorry that I think that we need to start designing ourselves basically that's the biggest change of our uh, generation that we need to change the way we've as a species been functioning. doing functioning we've been for thousands of years changing the planet and designing the planet in order to be more comfortable in it uh, whereas if we start designing ourselves this will change the more we design ourselves, the less we'll have to design the planet, which means that if we all, for example, had night vision, cities would be dark. So we wouldn't have to spend so much energy creating artificial light if we had night vision. So cities would be dark, and that mean, would mean that we wouldn't be spending so much energy to create all these uh, light. So it would be much better for the environment if we had night vision. Also, if we could control our own temperature, uh, we wouldn't have to use air conditionings or heaters uh, that means we, we would have to heat up the planet when it's cold and cold the planet when it's hot. It, this doesn't make sense. Uh, it's, it's much more logical to design ourselves uh, than to design the planet. And whenever this is seen as ethical, that's when there will be this uh, change. That, uh, it, in the end, it will be much better for the environment and for other species because we are, we are um, affecting other species a lot by changing the planet. Mm -hmm.